I've seen Dune Part 1 and Dune Part 2, and I can confidently say it is better than Star Wars. It's better than any Star Wars movies, 1 through 9, and any side movie that's been made. And it's probably not surprising because half of the Star Wars movies that were made not the best and this is coming from a huge star wars fan i have like three lightsabers in my closet right now but when i saw dune part 2 i sat there after the credits rolled and i was like wow why can't star wars be like this these dune movies aren't just good sci-fi movies these are good movies in their own right despite genre a lot of issues that i have with star wars is that they are just passable sci-fi movies. But the, a lot of times the themes and motifs they have underneath are kind of lacking or at least with the past trilogy with uh, Daisy Ridley, you know, the new Disney one. Um, I feel like I don't have any issues with the actors or anyone in the movie themselves. It, the, the writers just and directors, in my opinion, did not know what they were doing. And it really undermined the actors in those movies because they were they were good actors in, in my opinion. But this video is not about the acting and hating on Star Wars because I love Star Wars. I just wish the Star Wars movies were made like the Dune movies. And one point specifically is how Paul Atreides is treated like a real messiah. If you've seen the movie, especially Dune Part 2, you know that Paul is low-key treated like Jesus because he is fulfilling all these steps within the prophecy and he becomes you know essentially like their leader i wish anakin had some of that same treatment because anakin like paul had to fill a prophecy you know bring balance to the force defeat the sith and all that and there were people within the jedi order who truly believed in anakin like obi-wan I think Yoda, I can't remember, Qui-Gon, they all believed that he was the person in this prophecy. But we didn't see really anyone else or even really acknowledge it from what I remember. It was really just a Jedi Council thing and then everyone else, they hear about Anakin through the Clone Wars and you know his you know, fancy stuff or whatever, but it would be really cool to see Anakin almost systematically go through certain trials that prove that he's the chosen one to more and more people and then it, i feel like that would make the the twist or maybe not twist but the climax of episode three where he turns to the dark side he just even more climactic and honestly it'd just be really cool i mean who wouldn't want to see that right and speaking of the ending of episode three this brings me to the political side of these movies. Both of these movies have huge political influence in how the story unfolds without the politics behind them. These worlds could be completely different. You know, we have the Galactic Senate in the Star Wars movies, and then we have the Emperor and the Great Houses in the Dune movies and books. But Dune just does it so much better. In my opinion, the movie really only goes over the Atreides house and the Harkonnens, I think, from what I remember. And even just those two is more than enough for me. I don't know if there's more in the books because I haven't read them, but these houses just, they have their own traits. And it's not just a good and evil type of thing where I feel like Star Wars really kind of defaults to. Obviously the Harkonnens are the antagonists in the story, but they're more kind of like a a greedy power money hungry type of evil instead of just like oh we're evil because you know why not where i feel like star wars between the jedi and the sith or even just the separatists and the galactic republic i think i feel like it's really just a oh one side is good one side is bad type of thing there's almost no characteristics like defining characteristics between the two um, that are unique at least. Uh, whereas Dune, you know, the Harkonnens have, it, it, they just feel more real. And even the Atreides house, um, obviously they're the protagonists, they're seen as the good guys, but they really 
they, they don't have plot armor essentially but i guess you could say the same with star wars considering the galactic republic fell towards the end but eh, i really give it to dune because it it really felt like it just felt more real even though it's set in the year like 10,000 and i just and also the dialogue in these movies it's like night and day depending on which trilogy you look at if you're comparing the prequel star wars movies to these recent dune movies wow big difference between the dialogue um i was never too much of a prequel dialogue hater but they are some moments like you know the sand and just anakin being in love with padme uh he his lines were atrocious i feel so bad for him in that movie but uh again the dunes dialogue it's just everything just feels more real each character has their own way of speaking or if they don't they just speak like a normal person which is fine <laughs> it's fine but um i will say in the original star wars trilogy that is that's what i find to be the best trilogy out of the three that we have and the dialogue is pretty good there it, it it's good dialogue so props to george lucas for that or whoever did the dialogue i'm pretty sure he wrote it though so um but yeah, all in all, I just really wish I and I really wish these Star Wars movies, man, had just better people behind them. Or maybe it's Disney's fault. I don't know. You know, I'm not there in the headquarters, but someone please just get this director who did Dune and all the writers and just poach them, please. I need a good Star Wars movie. And I know there's a new Ray movie coming out, which um, I mean, I'm excited to see. I'm always excited to see a new Star Wars movie, but um, I just hope they don't. I just hope they give her a good script, because in my opinion, 90% of the time a movie is bad is because whoever wrote it just didn't know what they were doing. 